Alright guys, so we have a lot of breaking news for Global Dokkan, and we also have a lot of very good news for Global Dokkan as well. So, let's kind of go over everything. The first thing, I know everyone was waiting for this, Patara medals are added to the Baba Shop. So you can use Incredible Gems to buy 10 Patara medals. This is good. So I believe this means that now you only need to have two full teams of Fierce Battle units. I believe that's what... I, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly how many teams you need now. But you're able to buy 10 Patara medals from the Baba Shop with Incredible Gems. So LR Vegito Blue is very easy to get now. And now, I, I do think you can truly consider him free to play. Uh, because only needing two uh, teams of Fierce Battle is quite easy. That's not a heavy restriction whatsoever. Especially since there are, um, you know, quite a few free to play uh, Fierce Battle units. So, uh, as far, you know, as you guys can see, this lasts until 2025. So, you got plenty of time <laughs> to uh, grind out the medals. Uh, I would recommend... Uh, even if you have LR Vegito Blue to go ahead and grab these 10 uh, Patara medals in the Baba Shop, you never know what they might be used for. Uh, personally, you know, people are going to say, oh, it's so that you could uh, grind up a second copy of Vegito and you know combine them together to get the SA-20. I don't think so. Uh, much more likely is that the Patara medals will be used in a different LR or a different Dokkan Awakening in the future. So, make sure you hang on to those Patara medals. Don't sell them. Don't do anything dumb with them. Uh, we have a celebration here. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 celebration. I guess this was, this was a pretty good idea by uh, Global Dokkan here to kind of make the Tapion banner and Super Saiyan 3 Bardock kind of a celebration before the three-year anniversary. Obviously, this is the reason why they decided to hold back on Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is because they just had this idea right here. Uh, and then they wanted to get the Ultra Instinct Goku banner up a little early, I guess, to try and get people to spend stones, presumably, so that they would not have them for the three-year anniversary. So we have some special missions here. Get up to 46 stones. Pretty good. A uh, lot of nice little, uh, you know, stuff here. You can get some incredible gems. Uh, dragon stones for completing stamina. Uh, two hourglasses as a whale. Oh my god, do I love getting hourglasses. Lots of training items, Ghost Sushers, Fruit of the Tree of Might, as well as an Elder Kai. A lot of good stuff here. A lot of good missions, a lot of good rewards. A lot of stuff for you guys to go ahead and farm, so that's nice. Uh, there's also a uh, login bonus, which is right here. Uh, that'll be pretty good during the duration of the campaign until the 13th of June. Uh, Alright, so the Tapion banner, the Bardock banner. Then presumably... I think Global probably won't have anything happen between the 13th to probably uh, probably like the 21st or the 20th. And then at that point, I believe the countdown for the three-year anniversary will begin. Uh, the actual like three-year anniversary date, I believe, is sometime like July 14th or something like that. But uh, I'm expecting LR, Vegito, and Gogeta to arrive uh, closer to July 1st than uh, like July 15th or anything like that. So, like, we are, again, guys, for Global, we're approaching, like, the final countdown for LR Gogeta and LR Vegito arriving. Uh, now, let's go ahead and go over all of the special campaign events. Uh, there's some really good shit in here that's kind of surprising. So, got the login bonus. We already went over that. Got the special missions. We already went over that. We have uh, stone sales. Again, uh, I would recommend, you know... If people are going to buy stones to do it, you know, through Infinity Stones or Blazing Trove, Limbreaker Stones, I, I think one of those would be a smarter option. Um, just, you know, throwing that out there. Uh, Alright, so number four. Uh, we have the Rising Dragon Carnival Double Rights Banner here. Now, this is big for Global because, uh, as I pointed out, when this banner dropped on JP, this was the Christmas banner so, uh, you would get two Santa Roshis per multi. Uh, that was kind of the special Christmas banner for JP. Here on Global, y'all are still getting the two Elder Kais per multi on the Double Rates banner. And it's not even Christmas. And y'all had 
the crazy good Ultra Instinct Goku banner. So that is a big win for Global. Two Elder Kais and Double Rates banner summons. Fantastic. Uh, clearly, the banner will not be GSSR, so do not expect that. Uh, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku will not be featured, so do not expect that either. He will be an unfeatured unit. Uh, I know a lot of people have been hoping and saying that they thought he was going to be featured, but, I mean, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he he's just, he's the hardest hitting unit in the game. Like, that would be a very weird one, I think, for them to all of a sudden, like, feature. Like, uh, LR Trunks makes sense, because he's one of the weakest, like, LRs. Uh, but LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that's a card that uh, they're going to make unfeatured and have people chase for sure. Uh, Alright, moving down. So we have the Harutagarn Dokkan boss event uh, coming tonight as well. This is pretty easy. Uh, Harutagarn does have a very, very high dodge rate. Uh, but it's nothing too crazy. And there's actually an item you can farm from this story event, which will also drop the Tapion's Flute. That will allow you to kind of easily defeat uh, the last uh, kind of stage of the Harutagarn Dokkan event. Also, there is a physical Tapion that you can grind from the uh, Harutagarn boss event that you could use to raise the SA level of the Tech Tapion. There's two Tapions that come, AGL and Tech. Tech you can farm up as SA. The AGL one you cannot. Uh, the Tech one is the better of the two units as well. Although the EGL one is, it's not a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit, but he's, you know, kind of like Mass Saiyan. Uh, Alright, so moving down. Uh, the following Dokkan events will be available daily. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Power of the Pinnacle, that's Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Unparalleled Paragon of Hope is uh, Gotenks. Scarlet Flames of the Ultimate Saiyan. Is that Goku? Super Saiyan 4 Goku? What Warrior Return from the Other World? That is uh, Angel Tech Goku, uh, Wrecking Havoc Demon Over the Edge. That one I can't think of it. An Unrivaled Ultimate Fusion. That's either the Int Gogeta or the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta event. Um, so you can get all of these events, get the Awakening Medals required for Dokkan Awakening, uh, Super Saiyan 3 units. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, it's because what's going to happen is. The, I think the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta GT cards should awaken at some point during this celebration. And that would be why... Because they awaken from medals from the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta events. So that's why. Uh, Alright, so next thing we have here. Uh, on June 3rd, we have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, a big thing. We have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock here and Physical Omega. If we grab the banner here, we can see that on JP... It was Angel Golden Frieza as a secondary unit, not Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, let me say this. This is not a shaft for Global. Uh, the only reason they're doing this um, is because Angel Golden Frieza was just on a banner, Ultra and Goku's banner. And the only reason Angel Golden Frieza was even on Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's banner in the first place was when this came out on JP, it was right almost alongside Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Extreme Z Awakening for the first time. So, that's why Angel Golden Frieza was on this banner for people who uh, needed the Revived Warrior team on JP. So, it's not necessarily like a shaft that they're putting Physical Omega on there over Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, Alright, so, here of course is the Double Rates banner. Uh, I presume, by the way, that this banner will be remaining the same. I don't really see uh, any way in which they would change it. Hoy and Minosha are new. Hoy is maybe the best SR in the game. Very good card. Uh, and the two Tapions, Tech Tapion, very good. And then, of course, uh, this is a card everyone's going to be looking for uh, when you summon on the banner. This is LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku right there. Uh, all right, so uh, then, of course, you have the Bardock Dokkan event. You have the Bardock Story event. Oh, 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 man, just seeing that event gives me shivers right now. I actually just finished up bar grinding Bardock's uh, SA, LR Bardock on JP. Oh my goodness, was that rough. Uh, oh yeah, look at this. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Category Summon on June 5th. Alright, there it is right there. Uh, that will feature Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta, as well as Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. They will awaken. Uh, we have you know increased chances of training. Let me actually bring up the Super Saiyan 3 Category Banner real fast. 
Uh, sorry, guys, but that's one thing I forgot to bring up uh, back in June. Uh, I remember going very deep on this banner trying to get LRs, uh, but not having very good luck. I also remember that this banner does not have a lot of featured SSRs on it at all. Uh, there was very, very few, actually. Uh, so do keep that in mind. So this is the banner right here, the Super Saiyan 3 category banner. Only the... Is that true? Is it only five units? I believe so. Uh, yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the GT Vegeta, the GT Goku, the other GT Goku, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Not a bad banner if you're missing one of the units or you need some extra power for the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock team. Now, I believe that basically covers uh, everything that I had to go over. Uh, here we have more info uh, on the subreddit. You know, we know about the Patara medals in the Baba Shop. And last thing I wanted to point out, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is definitely a very good card. I would probably recommend people not summon for Tapion uh, and LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. If you absolutely must summon before uh, the 3th anniversary, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is the way to go. He is a very powerful unit. He's one of the best units in the game. He has maybe the best team in the game, the strongest team in the game, the team that will output the most damage in the game, even more so than the Patara category team. Uh, but Super Saiyan 3 Bardock has not been back on JP since his original banner. So that's the other thing too. Like, keep in mind, global players, if you don't get him now, you might not have a chance to get him until September, October, November. Who knows? They can always change things around, but he still has not returned yet on JP. So keep that in mind. Uh, that should do it. That covers all the stuff that will be going on on Global until about June 15th. A lot of good stuff. After June 15th, the countdown for the 3 anniversary will officially begin. Good times on both versions of Dokkan. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all later.